In this next topic, a little bit of a PSA, but I had no idea that Tesla vehicles use a Tesla vehicle specifically are as low as $17,000. So let's take a look at it. But if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla deal hacking. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. So this probably started like a few months ago because Hertz dropped a bunch of used Teslas for sale in inventory. And it seems like they keep decreasing the price because now on Hertz's website, you can get a 2022 long range Tesla vehicle for around 17,987. And if Tess and F, if Hertz is an authorized dealer, if they should be, you should be able to also stack that with a $4,000 used EV tax credit as well, as long as you as an individual qualify. But 2022 Tesla Model 3 long range, I mean, yes, that is certainly a ton of high miles. And so you certainly want to make sure you've got a warranty of of some sort to protect yourself and so you're really running the risk of probably battery blowing going out on you but uh, who knows at this point because certainly these vehicles are probably not the most well-kept vehicles but at 17 18 thousand dollars i mean maybe that's worth a gamble especially if you're going to be using this as a work vehicle like turo or delivery or something like that but taking a look at cars.com which i specifically use to find the lowest best deals in the country, we can see that that, be, that vehicle is basically almost the lowest vehicle in the country. Seeing here at the one cheaper than that is got a 2018 Tesla Model 3 with 156,000 miles. And I definitely would not be staying or I would stay, be staying away with that vehicle. And this seems to be a fantastic deal. I mean, it's two years old. You're definitely out of the factory warranty, but it's not too old. I mean, it's really like probably a year to two years old at that. And it's in Hertz Riverside. So if you're in the Silicon market and you qualify for maybe some of the uh, utility incentives or the federal tax credit incentives for the use side, it certainly could make a lot of sense. And of course, Tesla is also dropping the price on their vehicles, but it's not as good of a deal as that one. The other ones are 2020 and 2021, but you do get like a one year certified warranty with Tesla, which could make it a lot more sense, but definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let me know what your thoughts on it. Let me know what you're thinking. Do you think one of these are a better deal or would you get a brand new one that's an in inventory like a older one but of course you're not going to get the 7500 and it's basically almost a $20,000 difference between both of those but definitely some pretty interesting stuff let me know what your thoughts on it 